guys. Lovely to see you both again. Looking very fit and well and able. Are you excited for the run today? Absolutely, yes. I'm quite nervous about it. Why is that? Oh, I just get nervous sometimes. Sometimes I don't. Yeah. And John, you're not running this year. No, I, I picked up a lung infection in December and I couldn't throw it off. So, But I'm fitting well now. Good, good news. And Arlene, this is obviously not your first marathon, but, but for people who don't know anything about what you do or what you represent, tell us a little bit about who you're supporting and why you're running today. I'm running because um, John's sister had Parkinson's, and so we've been supporting the charity now for the last four or five years. And we've raised a few thousand pounds, yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. And it's fair to say um, you're one of the more mature runners today. Yes. Um, and, and the, the feeling around the place is such a joyous occasion, isn't it? I love it. Sum up how you feel about I it. I love it. Well, I am one of the mature ladies. Uh, I'm 80 years of age, and uh, I hope to continue running for a lot, for a lot longer. But I do like to see the younger ones flashing past me. I'm quite happy about that. Uh, but every year I get a bit slower, but I try to maintain it. And yeah, I'm still going for it. I did the London Marathon last year again, and I came first in my age group in the London Marathon, so I was really pleased about that. And she's not going to tell you, but it was the World Championships as well, so Eileen's number one in the world yes, for over yes. 80s. So I got a really flashy medal and um, medallion and everything, all gold. Yeah, that is really. absolutely fantastic. Yeah, Congratulations, yeah. that's oh, brilliant. Yeah. And John, what's it going to be like for you today then, watching from the sidelines? Because, well, what I'm doing, I'm going walking in the opposite direction and coming back two hours later, uh, wait over the finishing line to see her. Wonderful. So we'll see you both at the finish line. Absolutely, yes. What are you hoping for time-wise today then? You've got a... a, a uh, 2.40. I'm going to beat last year's time because he, he ran did it there. 243 last year. So, so I've got to beat his time for last year. Because otherwise I won't stop talking about it. <laughs> and how important is it to raise awareness for the charities today, do you think? Oh, very much so. I think a lot of people don't realise there's all these charities out there. And it's really interesting, some of the charities. And you think, yeah, it's a really good cause. Yeah, absolutely. Because I also think that nearly everybody knows someone, not perhaps family, but they all seem to know someone that's had Parkinson or is having Parkinson's. Yeah. And I think that's really important because it's close to everybody's heart, isn't it? As you say, everybody's affected. Yeah. And, and, and to be able to showcase this and raise money for such a great cause, that's a wonderful for you both to do this. Last year, you were surprised that we've been married 58 years. It's 59 now. <laughs> I'm not telling anyone 60 because that might cost a few bob. So. Well, look, best of luck today. Shame you're not running, but I know you're going to be supporting. And Eileen, very best of luck. We'll see you at the finish line. Okay, look forward to it. Thank you. Good luck and good, thank you.